Hi, my name's Kat Smith and I'm a chemical engineer and I'm going to tell you and you about the big green glute machine. Casper was a monster, not a human like you or me. He had purple fur and big green eyes and he lived with his parents. They also had purple fur and big green eyes. In fact, all the monsters in Monstropolis had purple fur and big green eyes. The other things monsters in Monstropolis had in common was that every day for breakfast they would eat a big bowl of green gloop. It was as green as grass, sloppy and ploppy, and looked a bit like snot. The monsters loved it so much they wouldn't eat anything else for their breakfast. Green gloop on Flumsday, green gloop on Woosday, green gloop on Thursday. Every breakfast was a big bowl of green gloop. But there was a problem. The green gloop was made from the swamp pear, which grew in the nearby forest. But unfortunately, the endless demand for the swamp pear meant that there weren't many of these trees left and they weren't making as much fruit as they used to. Casper's mum was the chief engineer at the green gloop factory. This meant she was in charge of the big green gloop machine. It was her job to make sure that the machine plopped out enough green gloop for all the monsters in Monstropolis to have for their breakfast. One morning, as they sat down to eat a sloppy, ploppy bowl of green gloop, Casper's mum looked sad. We're running out of swamp pears, she said. I don't know what we're going to eat for breakfast when we do. Casper looked at his mum and asked, Why can't you make something different? Because that's what we've always made, she said. That's what monsters like. That night, Casper thought and thought, There must be other fruits as good as the swamp pear for breakfast. Suddenly, Casper had an idea. Is it okay if we try and make something new with the big green gloop machine? That's a great idea, said his mum. We need to do something to feed all the monsters, but where should we start? First, he drew some pictures. A red blob here, a blue puddle there, squishy things and squashy things, some things that looked like hair. Finally, he settled on something he liked the look of. I think I'll give this a go, he muttered to himself. That looks great, said his mum, and they were ready for the next step. Casper gathered together the ingredients. He grabbed a selection of fruits. A zazzleberry, which looked a bit like a blue strawberry. A mongol flirt, which resembled a hairy banana. And a swizz puffer, which looked like a cross between a bunch of grapes and a lemon. He asked his mum, are these all safe to eat? We don't want to make anyone poorly with our new gloop. Yes, she said, and they were ready for the next step. Before he tried his recipe in the big green gloop machine, he wanted to make sure that he had everything just right. He headed to the kitchen to do some experiments. A splash here, a splosh there, mixing, whisking, boiling. Now we're on to something, he smiled as a fizzy blue gloop swirled in his bowl. Excellent, said his mum, and they were ready for the next step. Time to use the big green gloop machine. They tweaked and they squeaked, poked and prodded, banged and clanged, until the machine was ready for the new recipe. Time to try it out. Three, two, one, go! And together they pushed the big green button. Pumps thumped, widgets fidgeted, and cogs chugged as the machine whirred to life. Fizzing and popping, it started to mix the ingredients together. Out of the spout poured the most magnificent gloop anyone had ever seen. Red, blue, orange, and of course, a little bit of green. A rainbow poured down into the pots below. Casper and his mum looked on in delight as more and more of the colorful liquid shot out of the big green, no, the big rainbow gloop machine. They took a spoon each and dipped it into the gloop. Mmm, they said together. I think we've solved the problem, said Casper. Now the monsters have something even better for breakfast. And from then on, the big rainbow gloop machine made all sorts of wonderful gloop from all the different fruits they could find in Monstropolis.